Hey guys, it is at the break of dusk and this is a bonus video for today, but I am just finishing my sessions and it was something that really dropped heavy in my spirit today um, to share with you guys. And this is not going to apply to everybody, but for those this applies to, this is a word. This is something that can really bless your soul. Now, listen, I was talking to somebody earlier and it, 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 sometimes in my sessions, it's not me. And I know that people who are prophetic, people who hear the voice of God, people who love the word of God know what I mean by that. But it was something that the Lord gave me earlier for somebody. And I was like, oh, this is a word for somebody else. And he actually pressed upon my heart. I was like, how am I going to do this? You know, as it in my work day, I'm getting ready to go fix dinner and, you know, I've already kind of pre-prepared and all that good stuff. So, um, but anyway, I just wanted to be obedient and say this. So there, there is somebody, some people that had a life trajectory of things that could have stopped the flow and the anointing and the breakthrough and the destiny, your, your very destiny. Right. And the enemy sent those things, you know, and and it wasn't just one or two things. This is like a recurrent theme of your life. The enemy sent things in your life. There were things that were set up um, to honestly to just destroy you. And so when he did that, you were able to get through those things. You were able to be resilient. You were able to overcome. You were able to to, to lean on God. You did not waver. You trusted God. You knew that he would work it out. However, what it has done is it has given you a false sense of the, the time and the space that you didn't take to heal. All right. So here's the thing. God now wants you to take time to heal. He wants you to sit quietly before him. He wants you to come to him and to really dig deep and look at the root of the things that's happened. And not only that, but he wants you to be the best version of yourself in him. And so sometimes you think he's punishing you. Sometimes you think, you know, I, I don't know what it is that he's doing. But what he's trying to do is make, help you to be the best version of yourself. He's a loving father. And the enemy knows that if you become the best version that God created you to be, that's why all this stuff happened, to stop you from your identity. Because the enemy knows when you become the best version of what God created you to be, that you, my friend, are a danger to his kingdom, to his kingdom of darkness, okay? You're a menace to his society. Okay, so listen, take the time to heal, take the time before God, spend time with him, listen to him. You have a gift, you have many gifts and he wants you to rely on him though, not your gifts, rely on him, listen to him, lay with him. I always tell people, I love to lay on my daddy's lap, put my head on his chest, listen to his heartbeat, listen to what he has to say to me. Okay, you are loved, you are valued. There was a lot that happened to make you think the otherwise. Don't believe the lies of the enemy. God loves you and he has a plan for you, a wonderful plan. The enemy is trying to stop that plan, but he will not as long as you stay in the hands of the pattern. Okay, so listen, you don't want the normal things, right? You are not asking God for the normal things. And some of you are looking at other people and like, oh, they have it or, oh, they got it or whatever. And God is saying to you, the only reason you didn't get it yet is because I'm working on you and I have a special project. This project that you're asking me for is special. Some of you all are asking for God's divine will. Just because others are accepting the permissive will of God doesn't mean that you're not going to get your blessing. Okay. So this is the analogy and it was a vision. It was a vision earlier that the Lord gave me, but this is an analogy of what it is, what's going on. So you are asking for a custom built house. 
you're asking for is divine will. There are bells and whistles in that divine will that are not in that house when you, you know, in the other house that you could just purchase and walk straight into. This house is custom built. So he is lining up. He is designing those bells and whistles. I'll never forget um, a testimony I have one day. I'm not going to say where the house was, but I rolled up to the house and I had gotten this new song. I had never heard the song before. This is the first day I heard this song. And I was listening to the song. And I was like, oh my gosh. And it was called Epic. Now, you guys know that I have um, a business, Epic Life. And that's my branding. So that's the way that I describe God. The reason why is because I just kept, stuff just kept happening in my life. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Like telling my friends, right? Because I get excited about the stuff of God. This is crazy. And the Lord said, stop saying that. It's not crazy. It's epic. And I was like, Okay, so that's the tidbit for that. But I was rolling up to this house. And as I was rolling up to this house, this song came on. And it was this epic tune. And it was it was just instruments, but it was so profound. The instruments were so profound. It gave me motivation. It gave me inspiration. And then I walked into this house. Now, this was a, um, what do you call it? Like a, uh, you know, staged house and all of that, like for builders, right? So I walk into this house and... I was floored because it was what I wanted. Like every bell and whistle, you know, I have all these aspirations and dreams to do youth stuff, you know, and, and you know, in, in a place of residence and just all this stuff to help out young people. And the house was exactly, exactly. It was 9,000 square feet. And it was exactly what I was looking for. And so today the Lord showed me the custom built house. And then he showed me the house that was already made. And the word was, you're asking for a custom built house, but you won't allow me the time to do it, right? And so listen, if that's you, if you're the one who said, you know what? I just want your destiny. I just want your divine will. I don't want permissive will, even though I can have it. I want everything that you said about me in my book of heaven. I want everything you thought about me before I was even here. I want everything that you have planned for me. If that's you then wait on it because he will give it to you. And don't settle for less. Wait on it and he will give it to you. All right, you guys be blessed.